don't have a lot of space anymore to put any new Star Wars collectibles, as you can see. I relegated this little portion of my shelves to some new collectibles like The Force Awakens. Now, the only problem with keeping The Force Awakens stuff in the shelves, in their packaging like this, is that if I want to display them, I can't, you know, I it take, they take up a lot of space. So if I put them, I move them aside like this. Oops. They keep falling over. So if I move them and try to display them like this, and this one I have some Power of the Force, a Power of the Force collectible that I like to keep on my shelf, but I don't really have any place in, I, you know, I suppose I could put it in, something in the corner right there, but that's kind of hiding everything. So unfortunately, if I display it in the packaging like this, I can't see anything in the back. I recently got some new collectibles. See, I can't even can't see everything you know like I don't have a lot of space anymore so I'm you know, even under here I'm using these so I just don't have the space and now I have some new stuff so I can I got this new Kylo Ren I can put that right there put it right there have it. but then I have this one and then I got this one and so it's all just, it's, it's all just, just a bunch of craziness. And I just, I just can't, I uh, just can't, can't get it all here and display it nicely. It's just, it's just a big mess. Uh, what could I use to display my figures? I just need something, some kind of stand, something. Whoa! What is this? Star stands! Cool! I wanted to... I want to take all of these Force Awakens figures out of the package and display them. But, you know, most of the times when you have them display, the figures will fall over and it's just much easier. With my vintage figures, I have those displayed. And they're much easier to stay up with stands. And I already have two of the figures that I took out a while ago, months ago. But I never put put stands on them. R2-D2, you don't really need a stand. But C-3PO, it stands really well. I just, you know, prefer to use stands. Um, so I did, I got the star stands. I ordered it on eBay. And it's specific for wide stance figures and, you know, for the more modern wide stance figures. And I noticed that a lot of the, the Force Awakens figures have a wide stance, as you can see there. So I'm just going to take it out of the package. Oh, it's a resealable package, so that's cool. Shape plastic, nice clear plastic. Uh, since I have C-3PO out, why don't I just put this on? C-3PO is kind of a wide stance, I notice. And, oh, nice and snug. Now, these, I notice that they have tape around here. And I'm wondering if they open up. I've never actually opened one of these packages before. So I'm going to... See what happens. I'm going to use an exacto knife. I'm going to use this in between here very carefully to cut the tape. And it looks like it might open, you know, like like this, so you don't have to cut the package. Although I don't know, it looks like it's stuck here. So maybe I'm wrong. I'm let that stuck. Well, let's see. Try to get the exacto knife in between. Uh, proving to be more of a challenge. Okay. So, no? It doesn't open? So what's the tape for? I don't get it. Why do we have tape?
is it for this part? Let's see. I see more, more tape that I can undo here. This is not cutting very well. Maybe my X-Acto knife is not that great. Okay, now it's cutting better. I don't know. Do I have to actually tear the packaging? Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping that I could just open it. Let's try the bottom. Here's some tape at the bottom. That I need to try to undo. Huh. I don't get it. Oh, well, maybe I can do it like this. Looks like it's working. Okay, I'm doing something wrong because I'm tearing. It's tearing. I don't know why. But. Well, that's a bummer. I like to keep the packaging. I don't like to tear it all up. Um, but it looks like I'm going to have to because this doesn't seem to open. It's, it's, actually, it's actually glued together up here. So you can't just take the figure out. And it looks like it's glued down here too. Oh, that's really disappointing. I like that. <sighs> what to do? Do I just tear it? Let's see. Maybe I could use the exacto knife to just separate the glue. And, and just separate the packaging. I wonder if that's possible. Well, this is a bummer. So would it even work here? No. So yep, it looks like I gotta tear it apart. Okay, so that's what happens when you take these apart. It does open up. It does open up, but unfortunately, kind of damages the packaging when you do it. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to take out this figure, which is the the first order Tie Fighter pilot. Take it out of the plastic. This doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. That's a lot easier. So I can keep this package, you know, if I want to display it. Like if maybe if I have more room later, I can display it. But right now, we're just going to use the figure. Um, an accessory. So there's a gun. Pretty cool gun. Okay, no idea what this is for. Uh, so it's this thing. So it's just, it's not something that the figure can actually use. Oh, he has to sit on it. Okay, that's amusing. So it's a seat for the cannon, huh? So he sits on it. Eh. I decided to switch location because where I was doing it, I had to be on my knees, and that was kind of difficult to do. So now I'm sitting in a chair, 
and I have a nice white top here to, so you can see the figures better. Here's the Ray figure, the Ray Resistance Ray, and she has a gun, which is pretty cool because it goes right into this holster right here, and you can put that there, and then you can use either the lightsaber. Um, this is that accessory that you can make some kind of super weapon. It's kind of cool looking, though. I do like it. Here's the Hask Thug. I don't remember seeing anything, any part of this character in the movie, probably background character. It's funny because there's this line here, and I thought it, it turned at the waist, but nope, not so much. Just the f one, two, three, four. The head doesn't, well, the head turns a little bit. So you got four and a half points of articulation. And this really cool gun fits nicely in the hand. Okay, Resistance Trooper. Another figure. Oh, does the helmet come off? Oh, no. It's interesting how a lot of these generic characters... They, they depend on helmets now, whereas, you know, the, the vintage figures, they had the, um, they had the rebel soldiers, but they had faces. So this thing, does, it's got a hole on the back. I wonder what the hole is for. Oh, it goes in here. Interesting. Guess it's just that's a way of carrying it around. Does he hold it? Yeah, no, well, it doesn't hold it very well. Maybe the left arm, left hand will hold it. No, oh, the left hand holds it better. Here's Poe Dameron in. TIE Fighter pilot outfit, but considering you can't take the helmet off, it could just be any TIE Fighter pilot. Did I say TIE Fighter? X-Wing Fighter. Ay, oh, yeah, sometimes. I don't know. Okay, take this out. Come on, you. All right. Look at this cool gun. And this cool gun fits in this cool host holster. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, pretty cool. I like I like the extra detail on this. But again, cannot take off the helmet. So it could just be anybody. Look, it's got a hole in the back too. Does his accessory fit on the back? Oh yeah, it does. That's crazy. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it allows him to fly. I have all necess three necessary components to create this super weapon. Let's see. Ooh, it just came apart. So let's figure out how to put the super weapon together. Is it a weapon? So, go here. This attaches here. And then this attaches here. And now we got this thing. Whatever it is. I still don't understand why they tape these closed because the packaging is glued closed. So what's the point of taping them? All right. Kylo Ren. 
Ooh, this is a heavy figure. Probably because of all this extra plastic. Oh, it's really stiff plastic. Okay. Okay, this one is flexible. Oh, this comes off. Nice. Although, I like how he looks with this on. I think it looks better. This is very, very, very cool looking figure. And he has this his really cool lightsaber. All right, Kylo Ren. And of course they have to add these accessories to, I suppose, justify the ridiculous price for these figures now. It looks like Kylo Ren won't need a star stand because these part, the parts of his cloak right here, give him quite a sturdy stance. So Han Solo. I like how their outfits fit snugly and fit nicely with detail. It doesn't look bulky. It doesn't look ridiculous. Han Solo's weapon fell out. He holds it well. I don't know. Is that a good likeness of Harrison Ford? Maybe in the, the profile, but the front, I don't know. It seems like they kind of messed up on the eyes. And again, they did a really cool job by having a holster that fits the, does it fit like this? Or does it go in like this? No, it looks like it only goes in that way. That's so neat. I like that they did that. And five points of articulation. I have no problem with five points of articulation. I actually kind of like it. Does he stand up well? Yeah, they all seem to stand up well. Maybe I didn't need to get the stands, but oh well. Thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.